Да, да, да. Have you ever heard an unexplained sound, like a bump in the night or a voice from an empty room, something like that? Well, you're not alone. There are a lot of unexplained sounds out there, and some of them are pretty famous. Here are just four of them. Back in 1977, Jerry Amon, who is a researcher at Ohio State's Big Ear Telescope, was pouring over data when he noticed a radio transmission so loud and so significant that he circled it and wrote, wow, in the margin, exclamation point and all. The radio transmission that caught Amon's attention was 30 times louder than ambient sound around it, and it lasted for 72 seconds, which is about the amount of time it would have taken the Big Ear to pass by the fixed location in space. Plus, it was broadcast near 1420 megahertz, which is where scientists had already predicted an alien civilization would probably broadcast a radio transmission. Despite over a hundred attempts to replicate the findings, no one's ever been able to find anything like the wow signal again. But it's also never been fully explained to everyone's satisfaction, making it still an unexplained noise, and a pretty significant one too. The undersea world is full of sounds, tons of them, and because of that, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, has an eavesdropping network set up below the sea. This network of hydrophones has picked up a lot of sounds, but most of them have been explained. One is perennially inexplicable, and it's called the upsweep. The upsweep is a narrow band of rapidly increasing tones lasting for several seconds, and they've not been able to explain it. It actually sounds like this. Yeah, that's it. One of the interesting things about the upsweep is that it appears to be seasonal. It peaks between spring and fall, even though Noah has no idea what it is. They're still listening. Back in the 1980s, a radio tower north of Moscow started transmitting a series of beeps. And I guess to mix things up, in 1992, it started transmitting buzzes. Each of the buzzes lasted about a second, and there were between 21 and 34 buzzes a minute. Every few weeks, a male voice would interrupt this weird buzzing transmission and repeat strings of numbers in Russian names like Boris and Olga and Mikhail. And the buzzes themselves would change amplitude and pitch and tone sometimes. It was odd. In 2010, the station caught the world's attention by stopping transmitting two different times. When it came online the second time, everything changed. The buzzes had been replaced by weird shuffling sounds and thuds. And now they played snippets of music from things like Swan Lake. There are probably only a handful of people in the entire world who know what these buzzings and Russian names and thuds and shufflings actually mean. But what the UVB76 tower is is not much of a mystery. It's most likely what's called a number station, which is one-way communication using shortwave radio between handlers and spies. Pretty cool stuff. There are hums reported around the world, but the Taos hum in New Mexico is probably the most famous of all. It's compared to the low rumbling of a diesel engine idling off in the distance. The thing about the Taos hum and all hums is that not everybody can hear it. People who can hear the Taos hum report everything from mild annoyance to nosebleeds and insomnia as a result. Conspiracy theorists think that it's the government testing out some sort of new ultrasonic or subsonic weapon, or it's a government communications program that's still secret. Because not everybody can hear the hum, doctors tend to dismiss it as tinnitus or mass hysteria, much to sufferers' dismay. Recently, some research has suggested that the hum is a real thing and that it originates either deep in the Earth's crust or up in the atmosphere and are low-frequency sound waves that are transmitted throughout the world's ocean. Only some people can hear them. Some poor, poor people. Those sounds are pretty awesome, huh? You got any favorite unexplained sounds? Leave them in the comments below. And if you have some explanations for these, we want to hear those too. And check out 10 unexplained sounds that scientists are seriously looking into on how stuff works.